Hi, and welcome to Operation Guinea Pig. My name is Jose Serrano. I'm a student intern at, at the Providence Student Union, and I'll, I'm also a member. The Providence Student Union is a, is a student-led organization where students fight for their rights in their schools and where they feel like they should have what they want. We're here to demonstrate ri how RIDE is using the students of Providence and Rhode Island as if we were only lab rats and guinea pigs. We're here today to demonstrate the way RIDE's untested experiment, the kneecap graduation requirement, is treating us like we're no more than a bunch of lab rats and guinea pigs. Today we are calling on legislators to help pass legislation to end this kind of experimentation on the students of Rhode Island. Yeah. yeah. Some of you might be wondering why we are just like lab animals. The reason is simple. This is how we are being treated. How so? Well, Ryan had a hypothesis. The high stakes testing alone, without the extra resources our schools need, would drastically change our graduation, our graduation rates and make us college ready. This, but this was nothing more than an experiment. Ryan never had any proof that high stakes testing was going to work on us. They just took a random guess, a guess that gambled with our futures, and is still gambling with our futures. Not only, uh, not only is it not right, it's, it's completely unethical. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 We cannot just conduct a random experiment on the students of Rhode Island and, and live in the hopes that it'll work, even though they didn't know that high stakes testing would work, and even though we warned them again and again that this policy was not ready, they did not listen whatsoever. And now that Ryan can see that their policy is obviously not working, they're trying to fix it and cover it up. They keep changing things, backtracking and offering exemptions. And we're left to figure out what in the world is going on. First it was high stakes testing, and then the retakes, and then the waivers, and now the exemption if you get accepted into college. Well, some colleges, because for some reason, CCRI, the students who go to CCRI are getting being punished and they, will, they are not allowing them to pass. With all, with all these gimmicks, we are stuck wondering what are they going to come up with next? Clearly, Ryan thinks that they, they, can play with, they can play with the futures of the students of Rhode Island and Providence by subjecting us to their crazy high stakes testing experiment. Well, we're here to prove them wrong. Despite our incredibly convincing costumes, and we're not a bunch of guinea pigs and lab rats to be tested on. This needs to stop. Now. Luckily, we can end this experiment and bring back the focus on the real changes we need to improve our schools. Raise expectations and ensure every student is ready for college and or career success. That's what we're here to take to talk about, and now I'm going to hand the podium over to State Representative Teresa Tanzi, who's going to say a few words about the le legislative solutions her colleagues in the General Assembly are, going, are, go are working on to support the students, not guinea pigs of Rhode Island.